I wanted to produce a quick video in order to remind you of what to do next and what to include in your portfolio and what to submit electronically. So we've done a lot of work this semester and there are um, <clears throat> items that you still need to be submitting online and uh, items you need to be collecting for the folder that you will turn into me by hand during our final exam day. Now if you need to be reminded when the final exam day is for us um, you'll need to find the final exam schedule at the University of Akron's website. So uh, if you go into my Akron space and you log in, you should be able to find the calendar there on your home page. Uh, if you need to just search the University of Akron's website, um, open up the home page, uakron.edu, and then in the search box that is on uh, your right hand viewing side of the screen, up at the top, search for uh, spring 2014 final exam schedule or something like that and you should be able to find it and uh, so the the purpose for this is to remind you of these things and to give you sort of a, uh, a guideline to follow as we finish up the semester because again I'm going to be in conferences um, on the Tuesdays and Thursdays from here on out uh, however if you ever have questions and you want to talk to me face to face you're always welcome to come into a conference room uh, to come to our regular class time. Uh, I will be meeting with just a few people during that time, but I'll certainly make time to talk to you also. And I can be there, and you can find me there. And then if you need to work on the computers in the room, you're welcome to do that too. I, uh, I actually wish I could have uh, scheduled one more week in so I could talk to us together as a class, but this video is going to have to serve. But because of the fact that I feel we are sort of rushing things a little bit, I'm going to revise... Um, the points schedule. So, um, you know, you are getting a link to this video uh, from an email that I have, have just sent you. And in the email, you should see the revised point schedule. Now, um, there's really not too much of a revision. I, uh, I've, I've, uh, the, the total point value has gone up to 74 because of the Captain Phillips viewing quiz. I, I, I haven't figured out how to turn that into a bonus. So, what I did is I, I have to add that point into the schedule. Uh, and what I mean with schedule, I mean just the points list. And then, uh, but so th for those of you that actually saw Captain Phillips, the quiz was, was worth one point. I manually entered a two points for you. So you did get a, a, a bonus for that. It just is going to look a little weird. And the, the total point value of the class now is 74. Um, so that much hasn't changed too much. Now, I do want to remind you that uh, your topic and review of literature writing the the, sec, the draft that you showed me in your conference uh, I, I needed you to, to revise that a little bit and to tweak it and to then actually produce a a uh, reference list uh, for your sources and then to submit that online all right so um, please remember to submit that online uh, just just that section the the topic and review of section review of literature section and you would find the submission box for that in Core Sites. Go to Content, go to Academic Argumentation, then go to um, Writing the Term Paper folder. It's 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 maybe the third or fourth folder down from the list. Um, writing the Academic Argument Research Paper. Open up that folder. You'll find another folder in there, and that folder says uh, writing your own paper you open that one up and you'll find a folder that says writing the topic and review of lit so uh, I, I have this written out in the email but um, you know if, if you open the folders and you keep on looking for it you'll find it and uh, this is a way I can give you nine points for this so uh, eight or nine points you know depending on how you do it um, <clears throat> now that's that's really what we have left. All right, uh, you need to submit the topic and review of literature section online. Then once you do that, you know you have it as a computer file. You know you've copied and pasted it and submitted it online for nine points. Um, go back to the computer file. There's your topic. There's your review of literature. Um, soon you'll have written the thesis, voice, and schematic section. All right, so you need to really look over the 
the emails that I sent, and I've sent emails that explain, that give you links of how to write that section. That it's about a 200 to 250 word paragraph. That'll come next. So you have the the topic, the review of lit, and then after I see your draft of the thesis, voice, and schematic, you can slip it right underneath the review of literature. Okay, so that really is a good chunk of your paper. Of course, you're using this to actually write your paper. Now, as you as you look at those links that I provided in a prior email, uh, an email titled, you know, how to write your thesis, voice, and schematic essay. Um, when you look at those examples and then you, 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 you write your own, one of the most important things you're going to end up doing is, you know, st stating the one, the one thing that you're going to try to prove in your paper, your thesis. So you're going to have to articulate it there in that thesis, voice, and schematic section. Now this is this is the paragraph I'm going to look at in our second round of conferences, and I'll, I'll remind you of how to do this when I see you face to face about this. But um, <clears throat> I'll remind you of what to do next. But but uh, to, to to get that draft done, you need to be able to say, look, what is the one point I'm trying to prove in this paper? Okay. There it is. Says, put it out as a sentence. Then ask yourself, how is this unique to me? And in two or three sentences, explain how it's unique to you, how no one else is really doing what you're going to do. Okay. Now you got that out of your way. That's your voice part. That's your voice, the voice sentences. It explains how this is actually your original voice. If this is your one point and it's original to you. Now, once you got that out of the way, then you have to think to yourself, if I actually had people that were willing to listen to me talk about this for 20 minutes, now I know I have reasons for believing what I believe about this one statement. What other reasons I would give these people? Are they three reasons for, what are the reasons I have to believe my thesis is true? And list them. Do you have two or three, four reasons? Well, those reasons ought to form the steps of the rest of your paper. So. The schematic part is where you say, look, this is my thesis and this is how I'm going to prove it. First, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do that. And then after those, I get those two things done. I'm going to move into an, the third part of the, my proof. And then I'm going to end with, and it, you, you might have three steps, you might have four steps, and you have, might, might have five steps. I don't know. Uh, and each, but you, but you have to be able to, to imagine yourself, look, here's my thesis. How am, what steps would I need to take? to lead someone down a path of understanding. So at the end of the path, that person could understand my thesis and appreciate it and consider it pro possible and probable. So what are the things you need to do? And if you list them out in your schematic, it's sort of a map for you. It's a map for your reader, but it's also a map for you. And you can take this map and you can use it to write the rest of your paper. Okay, so after we have our second conference in which I look at your theses, your thesis, voice, and schematic section. What you need to do then is you need to write the support part. So I'm, I'm thinking in terms of sections of the paper. You have your topic, you have your review of literature, then you have your thesis, voice, and schematic section. And, and you're not supporting the thesis right there. You're just telling your, your reader, this is the one thing I'm going to try to prove in, in a sentence. This is how it's unique to me. And these are the steps that I'm going to do in the rest of the paper to prove this to you. That's what you tell the reader in that section. Then what follows next is the support section, and that's a pretty big section because this is where you do all those steps you said you were going to do. And then the last little part of the paper is your closing. You know, you can figure out how to close your paper. Maybe you want to produce a real life example, another real life example to close it all up. Maybe you want to refer back to the example you used to start it. Maybe you want to uh, suggest how your thesis can be applied to other areas. Maybe you want to discuss limitations of your research. Maybe you want to meet an objection. There are plenty of ways to end the paper. But that would be the very last thing you do, obviously. So that's what you need to do for this for this class. You need to write that paper, and it needs to be a minimum of 2,500 words. I need eight sources in the paper. Four of them are going to be in your review of lit. And then I need to see four that you are actually using to support your thesis in the support section. So I need a minimum of eight different sources. And, uh, I, I, you know, I'm not saying that something like it has to be books and articles and all that. You can have eight articles. You can have eight books. You can have eight. I would be very hesitant about someone who has, say, eight, 
like news articles because those are very short and they're not very rigorous. Uh, I would, if you're going to have news articles, I would see if you can get the sources they refer to, the academic studies. That was always make your paper stronger. Okay. Um, now, once you finish writing the paper, the very fr now, don't forget though that you need to produce a a bibliography at the end where you give me the full information about the sources, like the names of the authors and the titles and all of that. Okay. Now I'm going to make a change right here as to what I was saying to some of you. Because of the time we have, I'm going to allow you to choose whether you want to do that list in MLA format or in APA format. Okay, so you choose the format you're most comfortable in, and you go ahead and, and use that in your paper uh, for for when you quote and when you have the the short abbreviated citations in your paper, and then when you have your you have your bibliography. If, it's a, if you're doing it in MLA, it's called the Works Cited. If you're doing it in APA, it's called the Reference List. So I'm going to let you decide as to what you want to do. That's different from what I said. And I, and I've said to students this has to be an APA paper. But I'm going to go ahead and let you choose between the two formats. So I hope that information is welcome to some of you. And I apologize if you've already started doing APA and you're really more comfortable with MLA. Well, you can switch back now if you want to. I should have um, thought about this before. Um, I'm just trying to do something now to kind of help us finish it out because we're, we're sort of crunched for time. So, um, all right, so when you finish the paper and you produce your work cited or your reference list, I want you to copy it all in the computer, then go to Course Sites and find the submission box for your research paper. Okay, so I'll go ahead and I'll have that. That's, there's a link to that in the email. All right. And then you open up that submission box and you copy and paste the whole thing and you send it in. And this is worth 18 points on top of the nine for the topic and review of lit. So this whole research paper is worth 27 points, which is a lot. Okay, which is a lot. So, um, and I, I really wanted to come in through Core Sites so that I can enter your grades and you can see the grades on your computer. All right, so that's 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 what we need to do to finish out that type of work okay as soon as you do that okay um, oh don't forget though that you do have a, a documentation exam that you need to take before the 30th but we've talked about that and uh, you should you have that half sheet of paper that you got from your conferences that shows you where to find that exam okay so it's it's also an academic argumentation in course sites and you scroll through that looking for the folder that says documentation exam so um, and of course, feel free to use anything you can find on the computer to help you with those answers, uh, those questions. Um, but that's old news. You know, I've told you that since the beginning of April. So, um, all right. So once you finish writing the paper and you send it in through course sites and you finish taking those exams, you should start then working on the actual portfolio that you're turning in for me. OK, now here are this is where some of the revision comes in. All right. So I've given you an old list. But I want to change that a little bit to kind of make it a bit easier for us. Okay, so, and I'm not too happy with these changes. The next time through, um, I, uh, I I think I I, I will uh, make sure to schedule in an extra week, and then I can make I can I can go back to how I wanted to do it. But this is what needs to you need to put these together in a folder. Okay, you need to have log one, log two. You emailed log one to me. And then log two, you turned in after spring break. And then I signed it and I gave it back to you. Logs three and four, you sent in electronically, or you should have, because those were each worth two points. Uh, but I need log one, I need log two. I need the list of common elements for the conspiracy videos. I need the topic pre-writing sheet that we did in class. I need the shell voices sheet that we did in class also. Remember those shell voices. Um, then I'm, I, 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 I'll need a, a paper copy, a, a copy of your research paper. Now, if you decided to do it in MLA, for this copy, I need to, the margins to be right. I need the page numbering to be right. I need the heading to be right, according to MLA, 6th edition format guide, if that's the style you decided to do your research paper in. If you decided to do it in APA, I need the cover sheet, I need the running head, I need the abstract page, and so forth. Okay, so 
for the paper version, I really am looking at the double spacing, the, the, the capitalization of the title. I'm looking for your page number. I'm looking to see that all of that is there. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And to 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 uh, to signal a change. All right. This is really all that I'm going to require in the portfolio. Now, let me let me make that clear. And you're going to get this in a written form right on that email. But I, am, I I've decided not to stress the fact that I need photocopies of your citations. I haven't had time to show you a good example about that or to really field questions and to make this clear of what I was wanting. So now a good number of you know what I was what I'm looking for with those photocopies. And if you already have done them, you can include them in your portfolio. It'll add some extra weight to it. OK. Um, by the way, there is also another extra assignment that some of you did in class, and that is when you when you looked at a those three models of the topic and review of literature that I, I showed you from other from another class in another year. And in the back, you listed the strengths and the weaknesses of those models. Um, if you include that one in your portfolio, that's extra. But um, so if, if you want to include photocopies of your citation and you understand what I was asking, go ahead and do it. If you already have them, fine, put them in. If you if 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 you don't know what I'm, I'm talking about as far as those photocopies go, photocopies of citations, because I've never shown you an example. I never got around to that. So I'm going to have to let that go as a requirement. It's not required. What, what is required is that you have your research paper printed out in APA or MLA format with your sources listed. <clears throat> the other thing I'm letting go is the paraphrasing exercise. And I, I really have qualms about this. I don't like that. But again, we're kind of out of time. So I'm not going to give you a paraphrasing exercise to do. I had that. I have it. It's on Chaucer. I can I could I could easily in 30 minutes get it out there. But I'm just I, I want us to focus on, on writing the research paper right now. So this is something I'm going to make an attempt to correct in future semesters. But right now, that's really all I'm going to ask you to do in the portfolio. So um, and let's not even let's not worry about a check sheet either. I, I, I can tell what's in there. It needs to be log one, log two, the list of common elements from the conspiracy videos, the <clears throat> the shell voices exercise, the topic and pre-writing exercise we did in class, and your paper. Some extra things would be that review of literature, topic and review of literature model that you looked at on, on the back. You put the strengths and the weaknesses, and also cite photocopies of your citations, uh, the original page of those citations, if, if, if you have that. Those are extras. Okay. Now, once you have all that in a folder, you need to find me and give it to me. OK, and then you're done with the class. I'll give you a, I'll sign a receipt saying I received your work and um, and then you're done for the class. OK, that's it. Now, if you can get all this done early and submit it to me uh, and turn it in during a Tuesday or a Thursday in which I'm conferencing with other people, uh, that's fine. You know, that's 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 completely fine. If you want to do it, I think on the 29th of April or the 1st of May and you want to get that done. Well, sure, I, I, we can we can do that. Um, I will definitely be in our class during our final exam time. And that's really when I expect the mo most of you to turn it in. Uh, I may or not be on campus any other time, um, simply because I'm not scheduled to be there on any other time. And, 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 and I cannot just say, well, if our final exam is on a Thursday of the final exam week, well, then I can just still show up on Tuesday to our classroom. That, that doesn't work because... Um, some other test might be there. Some other person may be using that time. So the final exam week is where all regular scheduling gets kiboshed, you know, and 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 uh, obliterated. And and what happens is you get a new sort of a new schedule for you to take those exams. So you know, it's it's going to be um, on on a Thursday. Um, well, I'll let you check check the final exam time just to make sure. And whenever that schedule says that we need to be in class, that's when I'm going to be there. And that's when you need to come in and turn in your folder if you don't get it done early. And uh, that's it. That's that's we're not going to have an actual exam. You're just turning in your folder. So um, 
All right, I, I wanted to try to talk to you a little bit and, 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 and explain how you should finish writing the paper. And, and, and I'm going to try to give another iteration of this information, either as a document or when I see you in your conferences. It's extremely important that you come to your conferences. And I'm looking at, at students that aren't showing up and they're trying to come into another cl class. And, and, you know, as soon as you do that, you inconvenience everyone else that shows up for those other classes in the regularly scheduled time because all of a sudden it's a bigger group and they don't have enough copies for you because you weren't planned, you weren't scheduled to be there at that time. You had your own time to be scheduled. So uh, you do need to, to come at your own time and, and, um, and come with copies ready. For example, the next round of conferences um, is the thesis voice and schematic. And, and if you can have those copies ready to go, what was it? Six copies? Check, check the sheet that I gave you in class. And, 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 and that would, that's, that's what you need to do for your time. Uh, because we're just, we're not, I'm not going to really be able to, to conveniently rework you somewhere else. It just, it really doesn't work out that way. It, you, you lack the benefit, you miss the benefit of, 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 of doing this the designed way. And, and when you're interacting with other people and looking at their work because you have enough copies and they have enough copies for you, that's when you can walk away with a couple of good examples besides your own. So um, I just want to stress again, you really do need to, to come to your conferencing. All right, thank you for watching to the end. I hope that this has uh, clarified some, some uh, uh, confusion that may be out there about the ending part of the class. And uh, I hope that uh, you, know, you now have a clear idea of what can go in the portfolio and, and really what I'm looking for for that.